My name is um, Nathan Wong. Um, I'm professor and director of the Heart Disease Prevention Program at the University of California, Irvine. And my talk was on the emergence of uh, PCSK9 monoclonal antibody therapy. This clearly represents what I feel is one of the most important advances in cardiovascular medicine over the past past decade. Uh, we know that um, actually despite statin therapy, there's significant residual risk for cardiovascular disease remaining, and many individuals still suffer cardiovascular disease events despite being on statin therapy. We also know that um, many individuals, despite being on high-intensity statin therapy, still do not reach acceptable LDL cholesterol targets. So there's clearly a need for newer therapies. And this over um, this, in fact, last year, around the time of this meeting last summer in 2015, uh, the first two um, PCSK9 um, monoclonal antibody therapies were were approved by the US FDA and by the European uh, Medicines Association. Uh, this is alurocumab and evolucumab. Um, so proprotein convertase subtilisin kexin type 9, or PCSK9, um, is a um, se um, serum protease um, consisting of nearly 700 amino acids. And, uh, what this does is this binds um, t to the um, actually LDL receptor and LDL particle complex targeting um, this whole complex for destruction. So uh, when PCSK9 levels in the bloodstream are high, we do not get uh, recycling of um, LDL receptors and therefore the cholesterol levels increase uh, substantially in the bloodstream. In the presence of a PCSK9 um, um, monoclonal antibody uh, therapy, this, this binds to PCSK9, thus preventing PCSK9's association with the LDL particle, LDL receptor complex, and um, and thereby, you, act, you, you, you get normal recycling of the LDL, LDL receptors and the cholesterol levels remain controlled. So the development of um, PCSK9 goes back to its discovery back in 2003 through the identification of loss of function uh, mutations, uh, for which uh, very, very low cholesterol levels uh, were seen. In fact, um, some cases with LDL cholesterol levels around 14 or 15, um, as well as in situations of gain of function mutations where very, very high LDL cholesterol levels as well as, um, as as, as familial hypercholesterolemic phenotypes can be identified in the case of gain-of-function mutations. There have been clinical trials um, that have, have, have been conducted on the PCSK9 monoclonal antibodies showing efficacy in patients with high cardiovascular risk, including those with known cardiovascular disease, um, as well as with multiple risk factors in patients who are statin intolerant, as well as in patients with um, both heterozygous and homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. And in general, we see on top of maximally tolerated statin therapy, there is approximately a 50 to 60 percent further dramatic reduction in LDL cholesterol levels with the vast majority of patients uh, able to reach um, acceptable LDL cholesterol targets when on a PCSK9 monoclonal antibody on top of maximally tolerated uh, statin therapy. Clearly what I think 
um, is some of the most dramatic data um, comes from the um, actually 18 month uh, safety analysis um, published um, uh, last year in 2015 um, in the New England Journal of Medicine from Alura Kamab, as well as the 11 month analysis published in the same issue involving Evolu Kamab, where both of these um, studies, in addition to showing uh, relative safety of, of, of the product compared to placebo without any um, significant, um, actually increased adverse events compared to placebo, uh, even in patients who achieved a very low LDL cholesterol levels of less than 25, but in addition to this, uh, both of the studies showed approximately 50% further reductions in cardiovascular um, events on top of maximally tolerated statin therapy. So, so clearly this represents uh, really one of the most powerful medicines to date uh, in being able to show such substantial reductions um, beyond um, maximally tolerated statin therapy. Now, of course, these, um, these follow-up studies uh, were not designed specifically to look at cardiovascular events, so there are a number of long-term um, actually cardiovascular event-driven studies that are currently in progress and are due to, uh, to be out as early as uh, next year, 2017. And these studies will be the definitive word with respect to the extent to which cardiovascular events can be reduced um, from PCSK9 monoclonal antibody beyond uh, maximally tolerated statin therapy. So um, these therapies are currently indicated by the US FDA for um, persons with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease who um, need further LDL cholesterol lowering beyond maximally tolerated statin or other therapy, as well as in patients who have um, have um, heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, and in the case of ivalucumab, uh, this is additionally indicated for persons with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia who need further LDL cholesterol reduction beyond um, maximally tolerated statin therapy. Uh, these, these products are um, very easily administered uh, uh, through, through an auto, uh, auto injector pen that has been well tolerated by patients uh, thus far. So in summary, the emergence of the PCSK9 monoclonal antibody therapies represents a significant therapeutic advance in cardiovascular medicine and is really a, uh, a real game changer in the management of dyslipidemia. And, um, and we, we anxiously await the, um, the release of the cardiovascular event driven trials over the next couple of years.